Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruce Day Tuesday. Oh, oh, fuck yeah! Oh, we're gonna get our hops on, uh huh. It's Bruce Day Tuesday with Drez and Huck. That lovely sound means it is officially Bruce Day Tuesday. My name is Drez. And I'm Huck. And we're going to drink some beer. Why? Because that's what we do best. This is what we do. Repeatedly. Do it and repeat. And it's one of those, my favorite kind of shows. One of the shows where Drez brought beer. Sure. Well, you might as well get used to that. Um, it's going to go on for a while. Yeah, at least for a, a week or so. Because I was up in Chicago. And I don't know if you know this, but Huck, there's a lot of good beer getting brewed up in Chicago. I knew that. Uh, so I happened to find a store that had quite a selection, and I happened to find a gentleman that had quite a bit of knowledge, and I uh, ended up with a quite a hefty, hefty tab at the beer store. That happens a lot at stores that have a lot of selection, is they have the guy that has a lot of knowledge. Yeah. and They, um, they go together. So... Uh, Pretty much all the beers I brought are, if they're not actually brewed in Chicago, it's somewhere just right in an offshoot, you know, like a, a suburb or whatever. And that is the case with the first brew that I poured uh, from Lamont, Illinois. This is a brewery called Pollyanna. And it's uh, it's a, this looks like a perfect one for the summer. It's called, well, Summerly. It's a wheat ale with raspberry added. And you can clearly tell that that's the case with that pink hue. If you look at the... Uh, YouTube video, and of course, my glass right here, it is a, quite, pink. Ca- quite a pink color to it. Well, I have a Forbidden Root, uh, and their theme is Passion Rooted in Flavor. <sighs> and it's a strawberry basil hefty bison. Wheat, so, beel, bo- wheat ale brewed with strawberries and basil. So we're starting with the fruity beers. Yeah, it's kind of the fruity segment. Fruity segment, but that's cool. Um, so yeah, I went to this place. Uh, well, first I got up to Chicago. I'd never been to Illinois before. And so I didn't know how, you know, uh, you know, if they're like us where you can just buy beer at the grocery store or the gas station or if you got to go find a, a package store or whatever the case may be. So I go into a BP and I go to the coolers and I see no alcohol and I figure, well, this must be one of those states. So yeah, I never can remember. Yeah, I, I just asked the guy. I was like, hey, man, where can I get some booze? And he was like, you see that Burger King across the street? I said, he said, yeah. So the store right next to it, they got a big selection and they got a good prices. And I was like, all right. Sounds yeah. good. So it's a good thing you didn't say see a Burger King there. <laughs> yeah. the Burger King. Yeah, they got beer. Burger your way. King. <laughs> they brew it your um, way. So it's a place called Benny's. It looked like a chain. Have you heard of? Yeah, a, a I Benny's? think I stopped at Benny's while I was up there. Yes, it's been like I was there in 2010. Yeah. Well, um, Benny's had a. I went in. I was just like overwhelmed, and I felt bad for my buddy because he was. He's like, I'll just wait in the car. And then once I went inside, I was like. He's not gonna. He's yeah. gonna wish I left him the key. <laughs> I'm gonna be here. A while. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be here for a while. So I started looking around, and um, and I asked this uh, this one guy, you know, just hey, I'm looking for local beers, and he pointed, uh, you know, this brewery, that brewery, and he was just like, once I said, you know, what I was getting for for the show, he was like, you know what, let me let me find somebody that knows a little bit more, and so then he went and got another dude that just was giving me the rundown of all these different breweries, and was just handing me this and handing me that. I ended up walking away with. Uh, two variety six packs. Uh, I think about three of the four packs the of the pounders, and a couple of big boy bottles, which I know you're gonna love. Uh, one of those here before too long. I don't know if we'll drink that today or, or next week. And uh, and of course I got a case of PBR for good measure because yeah, you know yeah. you drink the good beers and then you switch to the the beers that don't matter as much. Yeah, especially when you got a whole day of music, you got to kind of space it out a little bit. Oh, without a doubt. And, be and out. what's unfortunate, man, I I got enough beers brought back for, like I said, two shows. I had way more than that, but some of them got drank. Yeah, that by happens. mistake. That happens. Because I'm just I'm a nice guy and I let people go in my cooler when I should. Oh yeah, that's shouldn't ha- leave yeah. it up to people to just go into my cooler. Well, my people now know like they ask, they're like are any of these special? Yes, I actually keep two coolers now. The special that's, cooler. That's the good and way the to do it. Special cooler. That's the way you need to do it. Because I mean, we drink the PBR and I, I'm kind of an ultra guy, even though you know so, when I'm not when I need to hydrate. Yeah. So one of the and, and I'm I'm actually I'm a little perturbed about this because one of the beers. That was that I definitely wanted to feature on the show that 
ended up disappearing somehow uh, was from Revolution Brewing. Oh yeah, and Revolution Brewing were the were the was the beer that basically had the monopoly at the festival. Uh, they had you know they were the ones that was featured you know all over the place, and um, and I got to talk with uh, Alec from there who was really cool and hooked me up with a hat and and I told him we would feature their Fist City on the show because Fist City is like their kind of staple I guess you could say. Uh, but they also had um, they had a light a light guy, something with a P. They had anti hero, which was a good which was a good one, and then they did a beer specifically for the festival called Dew Stonehenge, which hmm. was which was basically just a slightly modified hops uh, hop modified version of I think it was called it was something like past something. It was like the lighter the session beer. Yeah. It was only like, you know, four point six or four point eight, something like that. Either way, they were all pretty damn decent. And I ended up drinking God knows how many of them throughout the day because there was a little something special that you got when you uh that you could get. I don't know if you saw it. Did you follow me on the any of the social media? You see any of those pictures? I saw like the movie of the Mosh Pit. That's kind of scary. Oh, that was fun. And I heard about three of your check ins, that's all. Okay. Well, uh, they offered for the low, low price of $30 or $40 for a fill, uh, Das Horn. Oh, nice. So you got a beer horn nice. that you could fill. And I was like, man, that seems kind of steep. But then once I saw that once you got the 24-ounce beer horn, you would get, the sa- for the same price as a 20-ounce pour, you'd get 24 ounces. So I was like, so this thing pays for itself after six beers, and you bet your ass I would have more than six beers at this festival. <laughs> so I went ahead and bought it. It did kind of suck having to lug it around, but um, well, but you it, put a you put like some kind of um, sling on it and wear it. Well, no, yeah, it has a, it had a rope to go around your neck, but yeah. you're not wearing that in the pit. I mean, I don't know. I've never, you, never been in the pit. Trust this. me, you don't want stuff around your neck in the pit. How that's, about one of those collars you put on a pit bull or, or doby? That's maybe the one exception. Okay, an actual pit collar can yeah. be used in yeah, the pit. pit. In the pit, <laughs> yeah, that's that's okay. <laughs> But uh, I'll bring the Das. I'll try to remember to bring Das Das Horn uh, in next week when we drink some more of the Chicago beers. But uh, it's kind of a fun little souvenir. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's fun. So, well, without further ado, I'll talk more about the festival and and some of the breweries and stuff in a little bit. But I think it's time to untap some of these fruity beers. What are you thinking of that strawberry? Uh, was strawberry basil? Can you, are you getting yeah, hits of yeah, basil? Yeah, the basil's really brings a really interesting end to this beer. I mean, I'm can't, I'm not, you know, it's just strange. It's a strange beer, but not in really a bad way. So I just mean, different. Yeah, it's really different. I get it. And they're kind of, I see that's kind of their theme. Even on the inside of the cap, wherever that went, there's like leaves of a plant. So they're trying to be very earthy. Yeah, yeah, they, and they've got like the. Fragrantia and Mansa flower on it and strawberries. It's pretty cool. I don't see the APV of 5%. I was going to say, it's got to be around 5 Yeah, it's going to um, be right. Very nice, smooth beer. Not a big fan of fruit beers, as you know. Um, but this one's a nice, heffy with strawberry in the yeah. summer, and the basil kind of gives it a... Yeah, I'm going to give it a four. Bit, four. four from four. Forbidden Root. Uh, that's their strawberry basil. There's nothing Hefeweizen. really wrong with this beer. It's just different. And this might take me, I would probably drink several of these. To get used to it and then yeah. find out that you really love it or yeah. really hate it. Right. That's what I need to do More next time I'm up there. All right, cool. Well, over here, uh, Pollyanna Brewing Company from Lamont, Illinois. I think it's Pollyanna. All right. Thank there you. There's a kid's book. All it's right. All that. That, could be, that could be it. They're Summerly, the wheat ale with raspberry added. Uh, it says right here on the side, a beer with hundreds and hundreds of pounds of fresh raspberries can That's only be considered pounds. the perfect beer for summer, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Beckoning for friends, beer gardens, sunshine. Summerly will aid in the process of forgetting wintry blah, 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 blah. Basically, it's a, it's a nice light beer. It's got that little fruit hint in it, which makes it kind of nice, especially on a hot summer day. It's all red, too. It's got the color. It does have that beauty, that beauty pink hue, which really sets it apart from all the other beers and lets you know, hey, this one's going to have a little fruit flavor to it. Yeah, I like beers like this, um, especially in the summertime. I mean, that's perfectly. They named it just right, Summerly. Let's be honest here. A wheat ale with raspberries sounds like a great idea to me. 4.25. There you go. Out of five. Four. Say it again. Oh, Pollyanna. Pollyanna. Anyway, fell out of a tree. It's a long story. There you go. And that's our ratings uh, for our untapped app, by the way, which is like our untapped app. 
That's yeah. right. We we We're we it. came up with it. We took it by storm. Uh, it's a free beer app. You can download to your phone. Uh, you rate a beer one through five. You can do check ins and all that kind of good stuff. Huck's Beer Buzz is his handle. Drez Drinks is mine. What we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break, play a song, and then we're going to drink some more beers that I brought back from Chicago right after this. Stick around. Sounds good. <laughs> 